Hello teacher, hello students, welcome to today's lesson on the construction of full, half and offset sections. In our previous lessons, we have seen the basic terminologies and common practice of sectioning. Just to make sure that you have understood the basic concept, let's briefly revise the previous lessons as usual. In previous lessons from grade 11, we have learned the basic method of representing paths for designs by six standard views or projections. Yet, by means of a limited number of carefully selected views, the external features of the most complicated design can be fully described. There is, however, times when you are confronted with the necessity of showing more interior features of parts that wouldn't otherwise be shown by means of hidden lines. The purpose of sectional views is to clarify the views by reducing or eliminating the hidden lines, revealing the cross-sectional shape and to facilitate dimensioning. The cutting plane is an imaginary plane that passes through the object where it will be cut. It's indicated in the view adjacent to the sectional view. In this view, the cutting plane appears as an edge or a line which is called the cutting plane line. In our previous lesson, we briefly revised the parts of alphabets of lines which mainly used in drawing a sectional view. Sectioning is a technique by which the object is sliced and the cutaway view of the part is then drawn. We have seen the different types of section lining used to represent specific kind of materials from which the drawn object is made of. We have also seen the different rules in setting the cutting plane line and the sectional view, line of precedence and sectional line drawing. Finally, we briefly visited the type of sectional views according to the shape of the cutting plane line. Sections are commonly referred as details. Students, in this lesson, and few more in the future, we will see each type of sectional drawing in detail. So let's start now. The first type of sectional view is full section. Full section is the simpler and the most common type of sections relative to the others. Let us see. A sectional view obtained by passing the cutting plane line fully through the object is called a full section. In order to obtain the sectional view, the right half is only imagined to be removed. This view is drawn as part of one of the multi-view projections. The location of the cut is indicated by a cutting plane line which is drawn across the place of cut. If the cutting plane line gets in the way of an important part of the object, only the part of the cutting plane line, which is outside of the object's view, will be drawn. Arrows on the cutting plane line indicate line of sight for the section view. The section lines or cross hatching are employed to indicate the material from which the object is made. These are some more examples of full sections. Notice that the cutting plane should be carefully placed so that it shows an important interior detail of an object. In a multi-view drawing, a full section view is placed in the same position that an unsectioned view would normally occupy. That is, a front section view would replace the traditional front view. Well, students, 
I'm sure you want to try your first sectional drawing. Sketch the full sectional view of the given object which will be on the screen. Remember, I'm only giving you the axonometric view of the object and you will have to sketch the orthographic views first. And one more thing, you'll have to decide the position of cutting plane too. It will be easier if you do it with your classmate. So go ahead and do that now. Welcome back. I hope that was easy more than you expected. Let's see the possible solution for the activity. Take a closer look of the intersections between the cutting plane line and the object. Correct your sketches if you have any mistakes too.
I hope most of you got it right. Let's proceed to a half section. Some of you might got confused by the name half because full section shows half of the sectioned object. Half section on the other hand is created by passing an imaginary cutting plane halfway through an object and one quarter of it is removed. Let's see. In the case of half section, the cutting plane cuts halfway through the axis or center line so that the finished sectional view appears in section and half appears as an external view. The cutting plane can be considered as two cutting planes cutting halfway through an object perpendicularly so that the quarter of an object is removed. This type of sectional view is used when a view is needed showing both the exterior and interior construction of a symmetrical object such as cylinders. Good practice dictates that hidden lines be omitted from both half of the view unless they are absolutely necessary. External features of the part are drawn on the unsectioned half of the view. A center line, not an object line, is used to separate the sectioned half from the unsectioned half of the view. The arrow of the cutting plane line, which is on the external part of the object, is omitted in some practices. Students, Let's practice the half-sectional view with another activity. I will give you the axonometric view of an object with symmetrical character and you will have to provide the half-section of an object with one more necessary view which shows the cutting plane line. Please use your sketching skills to save your time. And as usual, help one another so that you understand it better.
Welcome back. Did you notice know that sketching across hatching is more fun? Let's see the solutions for the activity and copy the solution if you have some mistakes. I'm sure this time all of you have got it right. The final sectional view for today is offset section. Offset means something which is placed out of line. In this case, our cutting plane line turns around perpendicularly as much as we want so that we can show every interior part of an object which needs to be shown visible. When dealing with an object with an irregular shape or a regular shape with an interior feature with an irregular pattern, it's often desirable to show several features that may not line up in a straight by offsetting or bending the cutting plane across the object. Such a section is called an offset section. The offsets or bends in the cutting plane are all 90 degrees and are therefore never shown in the section view. In this example, notice the sectional views neatly arranged. When using multiple offset section views on a single part, always make sure to place labels on your different cutting planes for identification. In most cases, an offset cutting plane line passes through the centers of the features to be shown. Here are some more examples for the offset section. Well students, are you ready to practice the offset section? After learning about the full and half sectional views, this one should be easy for you. Study the given axonometric view of an object carefully and draw the two orthographic view of an object first, then place your offset cutting plane line. Apply the change on the hidden lines on the other view as well as the section lines. Go ahead.
Welcome back. That was fun, wasn't it? I hope you have done it right. Most of you might have different solutions for the previous activity. Let's see few possibilities which gives you the right offset section for the given object. The type of sectional views that you have learned today has a very wide application in the manufacturing world. Engineers, architects, draftsmen, and other professionals use sectional views to illustrate and express the design in detail. Let's revise these three sectional views to finalize today's lesson. A sectional view obtained by passing the cutting plane line fully through the object is called a full section. In order to obtain the sectional view, the right half is only imagined to be removed. Arrows on the cutting plane line indicate line of sight for the section view. Objects that are symmetric can be shown effectively using a half section. Half sections expose the interior for one half of the object and the exterior of the other half while one quarter of the object is removed. While drawing a half section, omit hidden lines from both halves of a half section whenever possible and use a center line to divide the sectioned half and the unsectioned half. In sectioning through complex objects, it's often desirable to show features that do not lie in a straight line by offsetting or bending the cutting plane. The cutting plane in this type of sectional view offsets or bends in 90 degrees. The bends in the cutting plane are never shown in the sectional view. Well students, that brings us to the end of this lesson. Keep practicing what you have learned on your practical periods with your teacher. Teacher, please assist your students on their needs. On our next lesson, we will see the broken out, revolved and removed sections. Until then, thank you teacher, thank you students, goodbye.